guys, it's Max here with Max Fit. So, had a pretty awesome workout. Uh, I took you guys along some of the things I was doing. So, I did shoulders, chest, and back. A little bit of emphasis more on my shoulders and my back, uh, just because it's, I'm trying to grow those two things. So, um, you're going to see a lot of that in this video. Uh, I did get a little bit of the workout. My phone started to die. So, I definitely <laughs> I need to get a separate camera to uh, record stuff because it just looks like it's not going to work just using my phone. So, that is in the works, so I'm getting a gonna try to get a camera so I can you know get better footage and stuff like that. Pretty good workout. I'm gonna explain everything. I'm gonna you know put a voiceover and I'm gonna explain everything I'm doing and why I'm doing it, so you guys can kind of get you know the gist of what I'm doing. So I mean, as you can see, the videos are kind of unorganized as of right now. Uh, that's just because you know I'm in the beginning stages of doing this, so I'm getting used to it. Really excited to get this going and get this started. I'm gonna start taking you guys on full days of eating and stuff like that. I just have to, you know, start to, uh, you know, kind of get in the groove of things and, and learn how to do this. But it's going well. I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoy the the workout. This video, I was posting videos today on Mondays uh, at three o'clock. I think I might switch those to Tuesdays. I'm not sure yet. Just trying to find out the best schedule for where I work out so I can get the best footage for you guys. Uh, as always, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a good one, guys, and enjoy your holiday. All right, what's up, guys? My first time recording over this video, so you know I might be a little uh, unorganized here, but it's okay. We're gonna roll with it. So generally, when I jump on, you know, when I jump into a shoulder workout, the first thing I do is I jump on the plate press, the shoulder plate press. I, I love the stability of it. Um, I feel like it really gets my shoulders warmed up and ready to go, you know, so I'm not hopping in cold. So I love to jump on here. I do each side individually. I think right now I have 90 pounds on each side, and I'm going for about you know seven reps. I think I have seven. Uh, you know, generally, guys, I work when I'm on when I'm doing a workout. I generally work between eight to six reps. Uh, you know, but I honestly, as long as I've been working out, it's always been kind of just feeling it out as you're going uh, and going till failure, till till you can't really go anymore. That, that's kind of generally where I where I stay. So I, I do count my reps, but it's not like you know I'm aiming for eight and I hit exactly eight because the body doesn't know what exactly eight reps is. The body just knows that you know, that you're stressing the muscle and that you're pushing it. So I'm not really counting as I'm going along. I'm kind of just going to that, around that area, that range, that, that, that rep scheme range, and that's what I'm trying to hit. So again, 90 pounds on each side, you know, slow and controlled. The back is going back a little bit, but not too much. I really don't feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm compensating too much. I, I'm setting myself up and I'm still stretching the shoulder, so I'm not too worried about it. The legs look better too, so it looks like I'm doing something right there. The the deadlifts and the, the lunges and all that good stuff are working, so um, we're getting it done. So moving on up here to the next set. The next set I believe I threw, yeah, so right here I have 135 on, on the right side. Good weight for me. Uh, generally going to go up to probably 7 or 8 reps here. As you can see on the left side, I do have, I still have 90 on there. I tweak my shoulder a little bit. You know, it's not hurt or anything. I just, uh, it's a little tweak, so I didn't want to push it. But I still want to kind of work it, you know, get it going a little bit. But yeah, again, slow and controlled, good movements. Uh, gonna work on the left side here again, around 78 reps. Pretty good workout on the 4th of July. Wasn't too bad. So next, we're gonna move on. You know, after this one, we're gonna move on to uh, to the row and get a plate row. So just like with my shoulders, I always jump on a plate machine. Uh, it's just controlled, you know. Uh, I, I love it, I, you know, so right now I got a 45 on the right side here doing each side individually And as you can see I'm not I'm not I don't have my chest pressed up against the the padding I'm actually holding on to it with my other arm. I'm posting my leg on the opposite side, and I'm really Keeping the back nice and tight I always like to keep my upper back higher than my lower back and give my lower back a little bit of an arch as I come down you'll see that I, I stretch my lat out like I'm flying. So I'll come down and I'll really stretch that lat out. You know, I'm not, I'm not just bouncing in one spot. I'm really stretching my lat out at the bottom and pulling up and squeezing those shoulder blades together. You know, you want to pretend like there's a penny between your shoulder blades. You want to come back and you want to squeeze and resist the weight as it's going down. With pulling movements, I feel like people always, you know, they, they forget about as the weight's going down. You want to try to resist that weight as it's going down. Um, and not just kind of let it fall, you know, keep it controlled guys, keep the muscle under tension the whole time. Uh, we're not bouncing or anything, like any crazy stuff like that. Right now for this set, I do have 90 pounds on each side and that's a safe number for me to be on right now when I'm just now jumping in. So yeah, as you can see, lower back's low, uh, you know, I have it, you know, tucked in and I have the upper back high. 
So, you know, really stressing the back, keeping the back tight. All right, guys, so moving on here to dumbbell shoulder press. So, you know, for this one, again, three sets of, you know, eight to six reps. Generally, I like to stay within the range of that. We're not hitting exactly eight or exactly six. I mean, sometimes I am, but I'm just trying to stay close to those numbers and, and to where I feel like I can't go anymore. So always been a lift I've really lacked on. You know, I've never really been strong on the dumbbell press. I think the heaviest I've gone is 80 pounds. So um, not really strong lift at all for me. So I think right here I hit seven reps. Um, yeah, and I think the next set we're here, we're going to jump up to 60s. So moving on up, moving on up. Again, slow and controlled. I'm not bouncing or doing anything crazy. Um, I probably could have come down a little bit further. But yeah, no, working with it, 60 pounds. I think I hit this one for about five reps. So again, slow and controlled. Uh, but yeah. Not a strong lift with me, just trying to keep the, the dumb, you know, keep keep the thing stable and keep it moving. I think the next set we're gonna stay at 60s as well. So not gonna not gonna move up move up. This is a good lift for me, guys. I uh I was using the stand in this one, the little stand I have for my phone. My phone actually fell out and cracked, so I think it's time to get a GoPro or get some kind of camera because the phone isn't working. Plus I don't get my music when I have my phone recording and the music is is my thing. But yeah. So for the workout after this, guys, I'm going to jump into a cable row, um, and it's going to be above my head. So I'm actually coming down. Um, one of my favorite, this has always been one of my favorite exercises for my back. Um, I think it's one of the things that's really widened my back up and developed my back. So it, it's awesome. One of my favorite, you know, favorite exercises to do. Um, and you have to do it, you know, correctly. So... What I, what I really stress is, is the same thing I stress with all pulling motions is that when you do come down, you need to squeeze that back and you need to resist the weight as it's going up. So you know, not just throwing the weight up as, you know, not resist it, give it some resistance and, and let that eccentric contraction work um, and get, you know, the best bang for your buck really. So still, still the same kind of rep scheme. We're going three, you know, three sets of eight to six. Uh, I think I believe I hit all three of these sets for eight reps. But yeah, man, really, when you come up, you know, really, really throw those lats out, man. Stress those lats out, stretch them out like you're flying, um, and then come down and squeeze, you know. And again, my upper back is always higher than my lower, so I'm giving my lower back a little bit of an arch. Um, leaning back ever so slightly, not too much, though. If you, you know, too much, you're not going to get the best. You know, you really want to just get that, that right area where you're kind of coming down and you're pulling. Just really stick in that area, lean back ever so slightly, arch that back, and then come back and squeeze. So, yep, definitely one of my favorite my favorite exercises. So, uh, I do also throw my thumbs around. So, you know, I, I feel like when you're not, well, I know that when you're not gripping the uh, the object, that you're you're using less arm and you know more of your back. So, throwing that thumb around really engages your back more. So, do that a lot of my pulling movements unless I'm going super heavy. So. All right, so for this next exercise, we're going to jump into some pec flies. Uh, you know, I like this one too. I, I kind of I do a lot of you know other stuff in my chest, but I, I like this one. I think this is very important workout too to to make sure that you're doing right because it's easy to jump on a machine and do something wrong just because it's there. Um, again, working with a rep scheme of three, you know, three sets, eight to six reps. Uh, for this first one, I believe I did seven. The next one, ten, and the other one, eight. But guys, so for here, you know, I'm. I'm throwing my shoulder blades in, into the into the back of the padding. The same way I would do if I was benching, I kind of dig my shoulder blades in and then bring my lower back out, you know. So just my upper back is sitting on the bench. I'll come together, and I will never touch those two handlebars together, and I'll never rest on the middle. I always hold that tension at the middle and then come down. So I'm keeping tension throughout, and a lot of guys will put the pin all the way on the outside, so that, so that the uh, handles, you know, go so far back that you're almost blowing at your shoulders. Look, you don't need to, you don't need to come back that far. You don't need the the range of motion to be that ridiculous to to really stress the pecs. You're stressing the pecs by keeping them keeping them under constant tension throughout the movement. So throwing the pin on the last hole and you know stretching your arms all the way back, you know, it's it's not. It's not effective. So, you know, right here is a perfect area to be in. Pretending like you're hugging a tree, coming together and squeezing those pecs. 
So, all right, so for the next one, we're going to move on to some rear delt flies. I really like this one too. Again, um, I'm working with about, whenever I do stuff like this, you know, three sets of 15 to 20 in that range, but I mostly go until failure. So until I feel like it can't really go anymore. I'm working with about 20 pound dumbbells here too, so not going too crazy. Um, some people might, you know, get on to me about not really coming, I'm not really coming out as a fly, so I have kind of a mixture of a row and a fly. Um, I know this isn't the most effective way to hit my rear delts, but um, I, I just like doing it this way. I, I really feel it in my back, you know, my lats, and I, I feel it in my, I still feel it in my rear delts. So um, I know I could always come out, you know, further and actually do a fly, which I do in some of my reps. So as I'm moving along, I feel it out as I'm going. So, you know, generally with the way I work out, that's, that's how I, I generally do things. I feel it out, um, and if, if it feels good and I, and I feel like I'm working what I, what I want to hit, then I keep doing it that way. So going by the textbook is always great, um, but I feel like if uh, you've been doing something for a while and you can feel it in your muscle and you know that you're hitting where you want to hit, then you're good. Um, but yeah, no, this is one of, my, one of my favorite exercises. I love doing this. I'll do it with plates as well sometimes. So I'll use 10-pound plates um, and hold them and come out. And, and I'll do more of a fly variation when I'm doing it that way. But um, yeah, so jumping, uh, I think we're jumping over to lateral raises here. So I got, uh, I'm actually using 10 pound plates for this. So I love using the plates versus the dumbbells. I feel like holding them out, you know, with the wrist straight, I, I really hit my shoulders a lot better, hit my delts a lot better. Um, and, and making sure guys that you're coming out at not completely to the side, I really like coming diagonally. So I'm really hitting that front delt. So I guess they're kind of a front delt, ra you know, front delt raised a little bit, but I'm not coming completely straight. I'm, I'm coming diagonally. Um, and that, that's, I feel like I hit it best that way. So I always superset this. I'll go for about 15 or 20 reps or until failure. And again, not going too high. You don't need to go really high. Just go kind of midway um, up and then come back down, always keeping it under tension. So I'll superset this with a 25-pound plate, and I'll hold the handles on each side, uh, and I'll come straight ahead. Again, not too high. You don't want to go too high. Once you get high, too high, your, your delts stop engaging. So you want to keep it you know, kind of midway. Um, really squeeze those delts and hold and come back down. Sometimes I'll even hold it there for a little bit. But uh, I love supersetting these two together. It's one of my favorite things to do. So we're going to do another set of these. Um, going to jump into it. But yeah, you can really see the delts engaging there. Uh, so yeah, awesome workout. Again, you can see how I'm holding the plate. I got the thumb out. I have two fingers. In and I'm holding and keeping my wrist straight again not really bent don't bend the arms keep the arms straight out coming out and you know really squeezing those delts um, I always go till failure on these and then I'll jump right onto the 25 pound plate and do front raises so one of the biggest things I've used you know for developing my delts they've definitely you know gotten bigger through the years by doing this so um, yeah just filling out the reps go until failure and then pretty soon here, going to jump onto the 25-pound plate and do some front raises, man. Again, you can see how high I'm coming up, not coming, you know, not going too crazy. Um, always keeping those delts under tension. You know, I always sit on the edge of the seat so I can get the most, you know, get the most movement with the plate. So next, I, I'm going to jump into a front delt press. Now, a lot of you guys have probably seen this on my prior videos, um, and this is. All right, so now we're going to jump into some, uh, you know, some front delt press on this plate machine. One of my favorite things to do, you guys will see me do this a lot. Um, I feel like it really hits your front delt. And as you can see, I'm correcting my elbow there. Always keep that elbow close to the body. Never flare it out or you're going to lose what you're trying to achieve. So, you know, going, going, keep the range of motion pretty solid. You don't have to go all the way up, though. It's stupid. You don't want to straighten out that elbow all the way. Your wrist is turned. It's going to bother it. I don't, why, you don't need to go all the way up to really stress that deltoid. So, just, just get a good range of motion. Don't bounce around and uh, keep it slow and controlled, man. And you, you'll get it done. So I always superset this with the with a front raise, um, and uh, one of my favorite exercises to do. So guys, look, this uh, this is my first time recording over a video, and um, there might be some mistakes. I might say some stupid stuff, but uh, I don't want to edit that out. I want to keep this as organic as possible. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I, I enjoyed doing it. So there's going to be a lot more of these to come because I want you guys to kind of 
you know, get some information and not just have some cool work out of it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. Um, and as always, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, guys, have a good one. I don't